Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a brand new helmet from Arai. This is the RXQ. Go ahead and tighten up, Ryan. Give me a nice 360 here. I'm sure by now, if you're one of the Arai faithful or you're in the market for a new helmet, you've already Googled Arai RXQ helmet and you've seen some of the information that's out there. Our goal with this video review is to really describe the features, the benefits, and share with you what we've learned about this helmet. I'll preface the rest of the review by saying we have not had the opportunity to ride in this helmet yet as it is winter time here in Michigan and it's really cold so we're not able to properly evaluate it while riding. Something that I think is very important to note is this, okay? This is not a quantum. In no way, shape, or form is this a quantum helmet. It's not a revamped quantum helmet, okay? They've discontinued the quantum and released the RXQ at the same time, all right? That's coincidence. This is not a revamped quantum. Very important to stress that. Let's start off with the, the goal with this helmet. Arai's goal with this helmet was to take everything they learned from their high-end racing heritage and their, their high-end racing helmets, bring all that technology and build the best street helmet ever. They're billing this as being more comfortable, quieter, and still offering solid ventilation and airflow. The things that I can comment on now are going to be the fit, the finish, the features, the benefits, and the comfort. Comparing this to their Corsair V helmet, okay, I find the RXQ to be more comfortable, flat out. The material they've used on the liner is more comfortable. It's a little softer than what I found in the Corsair V. I noticed that right away because I'm bald and when I pull the helmet on and off, if a helmet liner is a little bit to the rough side, I pick up on it quick. This one was very soft, felt great on, felt great going on and off. They did a wonderful job. The interior shape is very intermediate oval. This is going to fit 99% of the people out there spot on. Okay, It has an even better fit and feel than the Corsair V in my opinion. Okay, This isn't bad, this is very good, understand. This is just the evolution of that. This is an improvement upon that. It, it's hard to believe that, but they did. Fits even better. Special sculpting in the cheek pads and the neck roll are going to help make this quieter when you're on the road. That's key. One of the Achilles heels of a true racing helmet, like the Corsair V for street riding, is its production of noise. This helmet flows a ton of air, and that's great. Okay, It's comfortable, and it's very stable at speed, and those are great things. It's loud. End of story. You know, a helmet like this, the Corsair V, you really need to have some earplugs with it. You know, street or racetrack, it helps to keep it quieter. Come over to the Q. They've done away with the diffuser on the top and the center vent, no air wing. So you don't have all that stuff sticking up in the air. It's going to serve to make it quieter. That's good. The improvements in the cheek pads and the neck roll, better seal around the neck. That keeps a lot of the road noise out. It's going to make it quieter. And then they went one step further, and this has a very complex cheek pad in it. They use some special sound deadening foam in the cheek pad of the RXQ to even enhance that further. Okay? Now, immediately you're going to notice the difference in ventilation here. No top diffuser, no center vent. You have these two here. You have the brow vents on both, chin vent on both, and then we have our, our rear vents. So you're going to think, man, I don't know how much air this is going to flow. I mean, it's only got the two vents here. That's not the truth, because remember, with the rye, they use the vents here in the shield. These vents blow in. There's ducts right behind here. Kind of open up the shield. And if you want to, can you tighten up on that a little bit, Ryan? There's actual duct work there. And when you open those vents, the air flows into the duct, blows on your temple. Okay? A rye does not drill holes in the helmet shell in the forehead area. They believe that that weakens the structural integrity of the helmet. And let's face it, a helmet's primary job is not to be comfortable, not to flow a ton of air, not to have a great field of vision. It's to protect your head. Okay? For that reason, they developed the shield vent. Okay? You're not drilling any holes here. It keeps the helmet stronger. That's a good thing. So remember, with the ventilation on this helmet now, you've got this blown on the temples. You've got this blown on the top of your head. We still have the same chin vent. Multi-position. That can also assist with demisting the shield, ventilation, exhaust ventilation here on the side, and you'll note that that is 
very, very similar to the Corsair V. Then we have our rear exhaust vent here, which can be turned on and off. Okay, and that's essentially two holes in the EPS here, and we'll show you that, that allow for the air to escape. You let the air in here, you let the air out there, air comes out there, and we also have more exhaust down here in the neck roll of the helmet. That is another characteristic shared directly with the Corsair V. All that said, better for the street, still great for the racetrack. If you're a street rider and a track day guy, this helmet will still be great for you. If you're a racer that just wants a quieter helmet than this and a better fit, more comfort, still a great helmet. Don't misunderstand their goal is for making the best street helmet ever is making it non-functional for the racetrack. Absolutely not true. This helmet is going to work on the racetrack, on the street, everywhere. It's just going to be quieter and more comfortable than this. Ryan, let's kind of compare the two helmets. I turn them both sideways here. Take a good look at the shells. You're going to notice a ton of similarity in the shell of these helmets. I dare say from inspection, nearly identical. We put both helmets on a scale. They're both size large. This is a Corsair V, Jolly Roger, Hayes, size large. This is an RXQ, solid black frost, size large. 3.45 pounds digital shipping scale for the Corsair V. 3.40 pounds digital shipping scale, same scale for the RXQ. Five one hundredths of a pound lighter than the Corsair V. I'm going to guess that's probably in the vents here, the diffuser vent and the wing and that center vent because let's face it, five one hundredths of a pound, that's really not much. And there's a back view as well. Both helmets have the hyper rich design. You know, Arrive worked hard on the Corsair V to develop more structural integrity here on the bottom of the helmet. They've also opened it up a little bit so it's easier to get on your head and that's a nice feature because it makes the on and off better, that transition more comfortable. Still when you get it on, nice and secure fit. Another feature these helmets share, the shield is exactly the same from the V to the RXQ. Wider field of vision, more peripheral vision than many of the competitors, more than Arai had on their previous models. That same shield is used now on the RXQ. I think we've done a pretty good feature and benefit here. We're going to do a part two to this. We're going to take the RXQ apart. We're going to show you some of the other features from the inside out, like the emergency release cheek pad system that it shares with the Corsair V. Okay? We're going to pull the interior out, pull the cheek pads apart, and give you a really good look from the inside out of the all-new Arai RXQ helmet from SportbikeTrackGear.com.